Hello and welcome from Budapest. This is Hungary Reports from Public Media M1, bringing you the latest news from Hungary and the Carpathian Basin in English. I'm Arpad Sertzi. Great that you can be with us. The Hungarian prime minister was vaccinated for coronavirus on Sunday morning. Viktor Orban made the announcement in a video posted on his Facebook page. He said that the third wave of the coronavirus pandemic is hitting the country and will be stronger than the previous two waves. He said that's why he's asking all Hungarians to register to get vaccinated, as that's the only real defense against the disease. It's worth listening to those who know better. Chief Medical Officer Cecilia Müller decided so, and that's why I also got it. Since then I'm here working. You see, I'm fine. You've got nothing to worry about. Hungary has changed its vaccination strategy so that as many people as possible get inoculated for coronavirus in the first round, which will hopefully stop a rise in infections from the third wave of the pandemic. That's what a head of the National Health Care Center said on public media's all-news TV station M1. Agnes Galgozzi pointed out that now vaccines will be given to cover as many people as possible for their first inoculations, and therefore people will have to wait longer to get their second vaccination. Galgozzi added that even one dose gives you basic protection against getting infected from the virus. The largest delivery to Hungary of coronavirus vaccines from Russia should be making its way from Moscow now. Hungary's foreign affairs and trade minister made the announcement on his social media page. Peter Siarto wrote that altogether 280,000 doses of vaccine will be made available. 180,000 doses are meant for people getting their first doses and the remaining 100,000 for people getting their second. The government has extended coronavirus-related restrictions until March 16th. The ruling was also published in the government's official gazette. It's all part of a government decree, and it also means that salary subsidies have been extended to companies still requesting them. Furthermore, measures helping families with digital education are also extended, as is the continuation of border checks. And that's all for now from Hungary Reports. We'll be, we'll be back rather live after the next late night Hungarian language news show at about 11.20 p.m. Central European time. You can also catch us in repeats and online as well. Thanks for watching and please follow COVID virus guidelines. Wear a face mask and keep your distance from others. Take care and be so Natasha.